Steven here with Four Oaks Crafts and I got an exciting project for your kitchen. It's called an oven push-pull stick. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make it. So let's get started. For those who don't know, this little tool is used to pull out your hot oven rack and push it back in without burning your fingers. I made about 15 of these this past Christmas and handed them out as gifts. It's an easy project and only takes about 30 minutes to make. Here were my go-to tools and supplies for this project. The bandsaw to make the cuts, a drum sander for sanding edges, an orbital sander for final sanding, clear Danish oil, a drill and a quarter inch drill bit, and 10 inches of leather cord for the lanyard. I'll discuss alternative tools you can use if you don't have the ones listed here. A quick word on safety. I would call this a beginner level project, but make sure you are proficient with using your tools and having adequate woodworking skills. Read all the safety guidelines that come with your tools and identify hazards unique to your shop area. Be sure to wear all the appropriate safety gear. I wore safety glasses, hearing protection, and a respirator. Have fun and be safe! Let's first talk about wood selection. You can use most any kind of wood for this project, but I prefer hardwoods for kitchen utensils. Hardwoods are durable and usually have stunning grain patterns. You might want to consider a traditional hardwood like oak, cherry, or walnut. There are also many exotic woods to choose from, but they may be a little more expensive. I decided to use a tropical hardwood called Honduran mahogany. It's a beautiful wood and easy to work. I bought it at a local wood supply store. One of the fun parts of this project was picking out a design. After doing an online search, I came up with a general design for my push-pull stick and made my own design. I freehanded the design to a piece of hickory and that first stick became my template. As you can see here, I've used that first hickory stick to trace the design to the mahogany. I've done it in such a way that I can make about three more push-pull sticks from this one board. Now it's time to take the mahogany board over to the bandsaw. The bandsaw was my go-to tool for cutting out the push-pull stick. It's efficient and I can use both hands to maneuver the wood while cutting. Go slow and let the blade do the cutting. Don't force it. Be careful and always keep your fingers and hands in a safe position. If you don't have a bandsaw, no worries. You could also use a jigsaw or a coping saw for this step. Next step, I needed to sand those rough cut marks left by the bandsaw. To do that, I mounted a drum sander into my drill press. I moved the drill press table so the drum sander would extend just below the table surface. I then lowered the drum sander and locked the drill press in this position. After a few minutes, I had sanded the edges of the push-pull stick, including both the notches. If you don't have a drill press, you could do all the sanding by hand or use another rotary tool like a hand drill or Dremel. After finishing the rough sanding, I replaced the drum sander in my drill press with a quarter inch drill bit and drilled a hole for the leather lanyard. Notice that I also added a countersink to give the hole a more decorative look. Next up, I wanted to do some final sanding to eliminate all scratches from the edges and face of the wood. I used my orbital sander and only used 120 and 220 grit sandpaper. If you don't have an orbital sander, then just sand by hand. I decided to go with a Danish oil finish for my push-pull stick. Polyurethane or lacquer are also good choices since the stick will be subject to some wear and tear. Danish oil is easy to apply and it penetrates the wood to bring out the natural beauty. You can either brush it on or wipe it on. I used the natural color Danish oil and applied two coats, allowing the dry time between coats. Be sure to wipe off any excess when you apply it. Whatever finish you decide to use, just follow the directions on the container. I wanted to be able to hang my push-pull stick next to my oven for easy access, hence a reason for adding a lanyard. I used a 10-inch piece of leather cord that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I simply threaded it through the quarter-inch hole and tied a double overhand knot to create a four inch loop. Here's a picture of the finished push-pull stick and I was very pleased with how it turned out. 
this is going to look awesome in my kitchen. Or I may just give it away. Well that wraps up this video. For the complete tutorial along with the tools and supplies list and plans, head over to fouroakscrafts.com forward slash make an oven rack push pull stick. If you'd like to see more of my tutorials, check out www.fouroakscrafts.com. Please consider subscribing to my Four Oaks Crafts newsletter. You'll see the sign up form on the website. When you subscribe, I will send you the Home Shop Safety and Tool Checklist for free.